Well, hello there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to your monthly reading. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. This doesn't doesn't matter that it's coming through for the month of August. This can be this can resonate for you at any moment in your life. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment of time. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher, so the rule, roles can be reversed if it applies, but please, please, please do not try to fit anything into your life that doesn't naturally go there itself, yes? If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. If you would like to support the channel, um, you can join us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That can be found in the description box below as well. Also, um, if you would like some extra monthly content from me, you can check us out on Patreon. There's a lot of great stuff over there and even more great stuff to come, yeah? Please should make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely let me know how this re reading resonates for you down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you're new to the channel and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Yeah? Excellent, Libra. Let's get into your pre-shuffle here. There is a level of truth and conviction um, that you are moving forward with right now. And this is because you are, you are or you are becoming very solid in who you are. That's what I'm hearing. And however it is you're moving forward here, Libra, I do feel like I want to say, I do feel like that <clears throat> if it hasn't done so already, it's going to lead you to some strong financial benefits, um, uh, financial abundance, ultimately, if, if you're working on something business-wise. Um, but that's just a, see, but that's not even really all that important. That literally just feels like a byproduct of this King of Pentacles energy that's here for you um, because I just feel like you're so solid in who you are. Uh, you have become more solid in that recently, okay? You have the King of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords. These are the only two cards that have come out for your pre-shuffle here. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight, I'm sorry, the Hermit. Underneath that is the King of Wands. Underneath the hermit, or I'm sorry, and underneath the king of wands is death. So this is exactly what I was picking up on. You have gone through a pretty massive transformation lately, okay? Um, and I, I really want to say at this point, by the time that you're watching this reading and it's resonating for you, Libra, you've already sufficiently gone through the transformation. Even if there might be some feelings of still needing to, you know, get a few, tie up a few little loose ends for the most part, the transformation is well underway and has come to a solid place. But this is just you having been focused on yourself, having been focused on your inner light and shining that and understanding that, polishing that to let it shine a little bit more. That is what has led you to this solid state of self, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, which is telling me that you know exactly what it is you need to do in your life moving forward, at least at this point. We're not saying you're going to know that forever all the way down the road, because yes, things can change again. Things will change again. But at least right now, Libra, you are very, very solid in yourself. And you're feeling very confident within yourself too. And it's all because of this transformation you have recently gone through. Again, what I want to say is that the bulk of that transformation is over, is done. You're, you've moved through that. Again, there may be some tiny, minor loose ends that you're trying to, to, to tie up right now, whether that be physically. I feel like that mostly is energetically, though. Like There are still some elements about this new self, this new reality that you might still be a little shaky on, but like you'll get there. It'll get better. It'll become more solid in time. You just It's literally like it's clay. You know, and you've been molding this clay and you've got it pretty good, but, and it's pretty good, but it's not completely dry yet. You want to let it completely dry because it's in some, it's like in some places you're still a little malleable, right? But you're, you're about 85 to 90% dry at this point, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of what this feels like here for you. Okay. And the last thing I want to say before we move forward, Libra, is with this Ace of Swords, I just feel like you are so clear. 
so clear on what it is you want to do next, how it is you want to move forward, or how it is that you want to proceed. So clear. Okay? Use that to your advantage. Yes? I like this for you, Libra. All right. We're going to move forward here, and I'm going to just shuffle this up a little bit more um, just to clear it, just to reset. Oh. Nope, not taking that one. It was flipped over in the deck, but it didn't come out. We're not even going to, we're not, we're, I'm not even going to acknowledge it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm not bringing that into this because the energy is, feels really good right now. But I'm, no, I'm not bringing, I'm not, see, I'm not bringing that into the situation. You could, some of you know what card I just saw because of the way that I'm responding right now. I, I'm not, I, I refuse. I'm not bringing that into the situation. Okay. We're not, we're not, we're not having that in here. We're good. We're solid. We know how it is. We want to move forward. We're not, we're not bringing that in. Right. Nope. Nope. Not, nope. Not doing it. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get into this. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, Libra. Yeah? Here we go. One. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, guys, for a complete picture as to what the message could be for you at this period, this moment in time. This is two. Also, if you're looking for love messages specifically, I highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign or the Venus sign of your potential partner or your actual mate. Yes? This is three. This is four for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four. Try that again. This is four. Nope. One last time. Come on now. This is four. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. Hey, we're doing this correctly. This is four. There we go. And this is five. No, come on now. There's something that I need to say. I'm gonna say it. Just let me finish shuffling first. This is five. Good lord. Well, all right. So, um, cut the deck here. Boop. All right. So before I get into the overall energy, I want to talk about what I'm picking up on here. So. When I first started channeling your energy, Libra, I was seeing blue. Um, and that blue color, it was a very deep blue color. And it was speaking to truth, authenticity, awareness, knowledge, communication. And then the Ace of Swords came out, right? So that makes a lot of sense. But now I'm seeing green for you, Libra, um, which, is, which does translate into that King of Pentacles energy because the King of Pentacles is an earthly energy and green is an earthly color. Um, I, 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 there's something very natural coming through you right now at this moment in time or at this point in your life. Um, the truth of who you are and who it is you're meant to be, what it is your purpose is here, something like that has become very clear to you recently. And it's almost as if be you have this deeper connection to the earth too, because what I'm seeing with this green energy is now that like... You're finally allowing yourself to be a part of the ecosystem, okay? Because humans are a very much a part of that ego, ecosystem. But, ooh, but I was just, I instead, did you hear what I just said? I, I said, I slipped and said ecosystem instead of ecosystem, right? What pulls us out of the ecosystem are, are, is our ego. And instead of living in the ecosystem that is the earth, we start to live in the human ego system. Get it? Okay. But you have stepped out of the matrix, have stepped out of the ego system, and you've stepped now into the ego system, which is why I'm seeing this green heart chakra, light, light filled, life filled energy. It's like you are growing alongside the earth. Beautiful, beautiful Libra. All right, let's get into the rest of this here. Oh yeah, jinxie has got a lizard. Overall energy for you, Libra. Ooh, we're starting you off with the tower. Yo, and literally, Libra, what I just heard your energy say was, let it all fall down. Let it all just come cr crashing down. Let it all fall. Just let it fall. Because it wasn't natural. It wasn't conducive to fill in the blank. 
it wasn't right for me any longer. Point blank period. No other reason to justify or no other need to justify it than that. It just wasn't right. I'm hearing things like it wasn't meant for me any longer. You're, but basically, whether you're doing it or you're allowing it to happen in your life, I really kind of feel like, yeah, I feel like you're allowing it to happen in your life, Libra. There are some things that are falling away from your life right now. And because you are now connected to the greater source of power, to the larger collective, to the ecosystem, this is only a natural byproduct. And because you're so connected to the ecosystem, you're you're allowing it to fall with grace. Like it just feels, you're just naturally going with it. Beautiful, beautiful Libra. Underneath the tower, you've got the Ace of Wands. Underneath the Ace of Wands, you have the Four of Pentacles. And then underneath the Four of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like the Four of Pentacles here is representing what you used to be holding on to. I do feel like for some of you here with this tower energy, this could be a career shift. Some of you are moving out of a certain line of work. For others of you, a certain line of work is being brought together. I feel like there's a level of reorganization that's happening for you in terms of how it is you make money or what it is you do for a living. But all of that has to do with the new energetic vibration that you find yourself in, which is now allowing things to reorganize and shift, which ultimately is creating a tower moment for you because massive changes are happening or things are falling down, things are crumbling, things that may have been blocking you, standing your way, long-standing circumstance or situation, something that you've been holding on to for dear life, four of pentacles. It's now falling away. You have, you have a new sense of inspiration. And this Ace of Wands doesn't necessarily feel like inspiration in terms of, I know what it is I want to do, or I know what it is I want to be creating, or I know what it is what I want to be going forward towards. Not necessarily. This Ace of Wands inspiration energy feels a little more subtle for you, Libra. And it just feels like you are inspired to move in a direction that is naturally right for you at this time, regardless as to what you may end up doing as a result. Ultimately, what you end up doing is not the focus here. The focus here is for you is just moving forward in your life that is in alignment, in a way that is in alignment with who you truly are at this time. And that is bringing a very strong ending to your life. Ten of Swords. Okay. I like this a lot, Libra. So we're going to move forward here. We're going to look in the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at uh, the past energies moving forward towards the current energies uh, or the current time period. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies off into the future a little. Yes? Excellent. Coffee, please. Why, thank you. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. The Fool. Yup. You better jump on out there, Libra. That's right taking a leap of faith, but moving in the direction that the universe is guiding you in. That's what I'm feeling very strongly for you here, okay? The Fool is coupled with the Knight of Cups. There's that green heart chakra energy that I was seeing for you. Wait, 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 wait. Was that you? I, that was just you, right? Yes, because I saw blue. Sorry, guys. I saw blue, and now I'm seeing, or then I saw green. Okay. But the green is the heart chakra. And to me, the Knight of Cups represents the heart chakra. The Knight of Cups, all of the Knights represent movement. Movement, forward movement, okay? Um, when it comes to Cups, this is the Knight of Cups. This is you moving forward with your heart's desire in mind. Moving forward, letting your heart lead you forward, okay? So whatever it is you're, you've been guided to take a leap of faith towards or whatnot, whatever, it's coming from your heart chakra and or the, your heart's guidance, from which is then a direct translation to like your higher self or your soul here. Okay, so this is this is a great position to be in. All right. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. You've got the high priestess. Okay. So you're definitely allowing your intuition, your higher self to move you, to guide you forward here. 
the high priestess is coupled with the four of wands. So what this is feeling like here, Libra, is you've gotten to the point where you can really trust your, your inner guidance system. What I'm feeling here is four of wands specifically. This really isn't just your intuition, okay? This is you feeling solid and stable spiritually. You, like you have enough of a st stable foundation spiritually, okay? With your connection to the universe to really be trusting, of the universe right now and how it is guiding you forward the high priestess because no you don't know exactly how things are going to work out you probably don't even know where you're going but you know you're being led in the right direction so you're allowing that to happen beautiful your challenge here libra in the first half of your reading <laughs> is the queen of cups okay um what i'm hearing here is emotionally available Um, some of you actually may be light workers and energy readers. It's so crazy, Libra, because um, in terms of your progressed chart, excuse me, in terms of your progressed chart in astrology, uh, there is your natal chart, which is how you were, where where the planets were, and what the const what constellations they were in at the moment of your birth, right? And then you have something that can be used for predictive stuff. And that's what's called the progressed chart. That takes where you started in terms of your natal chart. And as time has gone on, how everything has shifted since, right? Because the universe, we do not live in a static universe, okay? We live in a universe that is constantly in motion, which means that things are constantly changing. So even though you have a snapshot of what the situation was when you were born, i.e. your natal or birth chart, you also have a, a, a dynamic chart that moves with you as you move through life and changes with you, right? In terms of my natal chart, my moon is now in Libra. And I am resonating with this so hard, Libra. Like there are things that came out, messages that came out specifically for me that are coming through here. And the gist of it is that I am following through with being the guide and the healer and the energy reader that I am. Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is psychic. She's intuitive. She's empathic. She's a healer. She's a nurturer. She's a guide emotionally, right? Your challenge here, Libra, for, for whomever this reading is resonating for, your challenge is to move forward with your sense of empathy Service to others, yes. Some sort of healing potential, though. Something something healing. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a doctor or a psychiatrist or a therapist or um, an energy healer, a Reiki worker. You don't have to be a card reader or anything like that. You could be working in the most mundane, nine-to-five type of situation, but still have this ability to bring healing to people somehow. Okay, Queen of Cups pause for a second. I'm not getting specifically how this is supposed to or meant to resonate for people, but if this resonates with you, then you know, then you understand what this, what I mean by this, okay? Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is coupled with, whoa, all right, the Queen of Swords. See, the challenge here for you, now first of all, Queen of Swords represents you, Libra, technically. Okay, fine. That doesn't, that really doesn't matter. The challenge here for you, Libra, is to, to stand in this Queen of Cups energy, but hold your boundaries, Queen of Swords. Because the other thing about the Queen of Cups is that she needs, she, one of her biggest struggles in life is how to hold boundaries, okay? When the Queen of Cups is reversed or negatively aspected, she has absolute shit for boundaries, okay? Zero, zilch, nada, okay? <laughs> um... But your challenge here, Libra, is to stand in this energy of the Queen of Cups that you have so skillfully stepped into and maintain your sense of drive and work from that place, but also to hold your boundaries, Queen of Swords. To do everything that you possibly can to make sure that the health and wellness of this Queen of Cups element to your life is in tip-top shape. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, your closing message or potential outcome, Libra, in the first half of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles. This is absolutely speaking to long-term efforts for you, Libra. Like I said, in the long run, there is some serious monetary... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Gains to come from whatever it is you're doing, whatever path it is you're walking at this time. Definitely, I was picking up on that before, but the Ten of Pentacles is kind of, is definitely reassuring me of that now, okay? It's all about the long-term goals, the longevity of the situation. And that is why it is so important for you to maintain the health and wellness of this, whatever Queen of Cups energy this represents for you, okay? Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Six of Cups. Nostalgia, family, memory, contentment, happiness. I, I, I'm just getting a home and family life with this with this Six of Cups energy and the Ten of Pentacles. There's also something about recreating some sort of elements from the past that you look fondly on and like recreating that in your life somehow in the long run. Okay, and I'll tell you how this translates for me. Um, my goal right now, personally, is to, you know, get myself to a place where I have, like, my own home and a partner, maybe kids or, like, animals or something. And just, like, I have a family unit. And my goal there would be to recreate certain things about the past about my childhood that i absolutely loved that i look pat like that i look fondly on right at this moment in my life and i want to recreate that type of energy or environment in the future for whomever is meant to be there with me okay so that's kind of what this feels like here for you libra the ten of pentacles and the six of cups okay i like that Let's move forward. So let's get into the second half of your reading. So this is going to look at the current surrounding energies and off into the future of it, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. Uh-oh, we have the devil. Okay, first thing I heard, Libra, only thing I heard was the devil's trying to get you down. So there are still some toxic situations, toxic energies in your life, toxic people that are surrounding you at this point right now that you just need to continue holding your boundaries up against. And it's not even about trying to rush them out of your environment, your situation, whatnot, whatever. No, you're just going to have to deal with it. But that's kind of part of this test. I mean, we I never even really said anything about a test up until now, but it kind of feels like that's part of the element of the longevity of the situation of you holding your boundaries. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, right? Okay. The Devil is coupled with the Two of Wands. Interesting. It's all about a choice. I'm hearing a choice between ego-based reality versus spiritual reality. I'm picking up some, for some of you specifically, you can choose to go down a direction where you do, th where you get things the easy way, you know, um, the toxic way, taking shortcuts, signing, making deals with the devil or making deals with this, that, and the third to, 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 to make things easier or make you more, like, things like that. Or you can do it the way that you are being guided to, the way the universe is leading you towards. There is no shortcut. There is no shortcut that is worth taking, Libra. Ten of Pentacles. There are no shortcuts when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles. And so what I feel like here, Libra, for you, um, moving forward in the current energy off into the future, there could be some situations or circumstances where you might feel like you might want to take the easy route. You know what I mean? Or you may be tempted to do so. You always have a choice. But I will tell you this, Libra. There are no shortcuts worth taking. It's not worth it. You would be much better off just 
taking the long road than making a deal with the devil for any sort of shortcut, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you have the Nine of Pentacles. First and foremost, this is representing you standing strong, standing pendant, standing independent, and standing on your own. And even if you don't have a shit ton of money, I feel like, Libra, you are very, very solid. Like, I, I literally just heard the universe has got you, babe. You don't even have to worry about it like that. I'm hearing you're in the upper echelon of energetic resonance and energetic vibrancy. Stay there because that is allowing you to be monetarily stable somehow. You've got it going on, Libra. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Six of Swords. Excellent. Yeah, see, okay, you're definitely in some sort of transitionary phase right now. Six of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. And it feels like, I know this is kind of a past energy, but this is all translating and it's making sense. It feels like whatever it is you've been through up until now, Libra, it's put you in this nine of pentacles state. Calm, cool, and collected. Very stable and sturdy and grounded within yourself. Very self-aware and understanding of what it is you need to do, what it is you want to do, or where it is you need to be going. Very clear, clear-minded energy. Being able to think for yourself, being able to stand on your own. And it's within this energy that you are able to move forward in this way. So what I want to say here for you, Libra, is stay in this Nine of Pentacles energy as much as you possibly can because this is allowing you to move forward. It's carrying you forward, okay? Your challenge, Libra, in the second half of your reading is the Four of Cups. Don't allow yourself to sink into apathy. Uh, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm seeing here for you, Ch Libra. What I'm channeling right now is like you're, you're on a certain part of your journey right now where you're being taken somewhere, and you don't really know how long it's going to take to move through this transition. So don't allow yourself to slip too much into apathy or boredom or whatnot, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for that. But I'm also getting a certain level of letting certain things go with this Four of Cups energy. And for some, and in, okay, so how this is kind of translating now, in terms of like the Four of Cups representing letting certain things go, your challenge is to allow yourself to release those things that you don't feel in alignment with any longer. Like, with, I am picking up an energy of, like, not taking certain opportunities or not engaging or involving yourself in certain situations or in certain ways that you may have in the past. I am getting that with this card. But it kind of feels like a good thing. It, 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 it feels like it's naturally what you should be doing right now. If something doesn't feel right, to, okay, the challenge here for you, Libra, is that if something doesn't feel right for you, if something doesn't resonate with you any longer, if you just don't feel like doing something, then don't fucking do it. Like, don't force yourself to do it. That's part of the, the lesson of this time period, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, moving forward. Continue to stand on your own. Continue to make decisions for yourself, Libra. And if you come across something in your travels that once resonated with you or you once would have been involved with but now you find yourself not wanting to get involved don't do it any new situations new opportunities that come up that just don't feel right to you like you look you you observe the offer or the opportunity and you feel through it and, and with this with this emotional awareness you've got going on here queen of cups and you feel into it and you're just like no yeah, no, I don't really have another explanation. I just don't want to. Then don't. That's your inner guidance system right there. Yes? The Four of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Swords. Oh, shit. Hang with me for a second, Libra. Before I start 
spitting words. I just want to make sure that I'm feeling through this correctly. Because, because what I feel like here, the only thing that I'm getting, what I'm getting the strongest Libra, and I'm just going to go with it, okay? What I'm, and this is perfect. This is exactly in alignment with what I was literally just saying. If something doesn't feel right to you, follow that because there's probably some sort of deception behind it. Use your inner guidance system to sniff out the deception. Own it. Own your intuition, Libra, because it's powerful at this moment. You have the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups showing up in your reading. That's both, those are the two most psychic individuals. If there are any individuals in the deck like actual physically represented people in the deck that represent psychic awareness. It's the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, okay? Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. If your inner guidance system says no to something, do not allow yourself to be deceived into doing it anyway because there's probably deceptive energies in there. And, and the only deceptive thing that, the, not the only, but the strongest deceptive thing that I'm getting here, Libra, is that it just may not be fulfilling for you. If someone or something is, is, is like pushing hard to try and get you to do something, try to convince you that it'll be fulfilling for you in some way and your heart is laughing saying, no, it's not. Ew, no, 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 no. Listen to that, okay? All right. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading. The chariot. I love this. Your inner guidance system is moving you in the absolute direct, uh, the absolute right direction, Libra. You are on point. You are online. You are focused. You are driven. You are balanced. You're moving forward swiftly, quickly, sure, but in a very balanced and harmonious way. Beautiful. The chariot is coupled with the page of wands. I love this. You have a sense of drive. You have a sense of direction. There is a sense of passion here for you. Uh, I'm just going to give you the basic understanding of what I'm feeling for this because that's really all it's translating into. You know where it is you're going. You're excited about it. You're passionate about it. You're on board with it. Wherever the universe is leading or guiding you, or guiding you wherever your higher self, your heart is guiding you towards, point blank period, the, the, the fact of the matter is, Libra, you're down. You're down for it. You're saying to the universe, all right, universe, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm excited. I'm online. This feels good. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's do this, universe. You're down. Excellent. Excellent, Libra. I love this for you. I want to close out this reading and we're going to keep it cute with the Crystal Mandala deck. Yeah. All right. Five shuffles for you, Libra. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Closing oracle guidance for my Libras, please, Spirit, for this message. Closing oracle guidance for you, Libra. You know, I don't know why, and I just want to say this. I was, I was consciously connecting to your energy again. And when I do that, I envision your astrological sign, the symbol for your astrological sign in my mind. And I did that, and I just got this just wave of happiness. I don't want to define it. I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> okay. Your closing oracle guidance is card number 30. Ascended Master, White Matthew, and Dan Barite. Original Self.
we bring you the blessing of original self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are. And as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty. So you discard it. Perhaps you are able to move, oh, I'm sorry, perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not, quote, get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original, radiant, divine self. Excellent. I love it, Libra. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye.